This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at green screen keys in Adobe Premiere Pro CC and Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create and adjust a basic green screen key in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. When you think of green screen keys, you often think of images like this with perfect lighting. But far too often the reality is much, much different. For this example, let's work with this image. Because I wanted to work with footage which is much more typical of low budget productions, which is you're lucky there's green anywhere in the shot. How do we key this? Select Andrew, and again, let's just uh, double click the inspector open up the the effects browser and let's go to the keying category and inside keying grab the keyer just drag it across it automatically senses what is likely to be the background that you want to get rid of green or blue and uses default settings to get rid of it and it does a pretty good job guessing but not a perfect job so you see under view you see these three buttons this allows us to see the source image. This allows us to see the alpha channel. Solid white is foreground. Solid black is transparent background. We want to avoid gray, which is translucent, involving both foreground and background. And this allows me to see the finished composite. Well, let's clean this shot up by going here. I need to have black around Andrew, and I don't have it yet. To be able to adjust it, to be able to adjust it, we go to Matte Tools, and I'm going to grab. There we go. I'm going to grab the black level, and I'm just going to pull that down. What I'm looking for is to create a buffer area around Andrew that I can get a mask in. Now, I'm going to have a hard time with that little tail right there. But the rest of it, okay, I've got solid black for the transparent background and solid white and lots of garbage. Now there's two ways that we could trim this. One is to select the clip, go up to the inspector, under the crop menu, where to go, right there, crop menu, and I can crop in the left edge, and I can crop in the right edge, and I can crop in the top, and as long as your problems can be rectangularly solved, let's go back to our composite here, I have a nice key. Because this is essentially a free-floating clip, if I go to the transform menu, I can scale this up a bit and I can reposition it and I give myself a much better frame on this video the way I should have shot it when I did it the first time. The nice thing about green screen is that not only can I change the background, but I can reposition my talent inside the shot. But in order to do that, I had to get rid of the garbage. Now, another way that we can get rid of the garbage is with the mask. So let me make the crop disappear. Instead, I'm going to go down to masks. I'm going to go down there if I can. There it is right there. And grab the draw mask. With the draw mask, I'm going to click near Andrew. Right there. And draw a shape around him. Notice here it's a little bit tight. I could just simply click and drag to move this or control click on the point and turn it into a smooth curve. Let's make this smaller so I can grab this command minus to change the to switch back to a corner control click and say linear and now it goes back to a corner or hold the option key down and I can option click directly on this line to add additional control points. Whichever I decide to pick, 
is really dependent upon what the environment is. But the draw mask allows me to draw a shape which is neither a circle nor a rectangle that I can use to get rid of garbage which is around the frame. And now as I play it back, we can see that Andrew looks great. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at green screen keys in Adobe Premiere Pro CC and Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 256. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.